Hey guys, Reed at Work Turbo. We're back in the shop today. I've got two EFR turbos sitting here. One used one, one brand new one. Customer sent the used one in. He was concerned that it was giving him a little bit of, uh, of oil smoke. So he wanted us to give it just a good check over. So first thing I did was um, measure the, uh, the bearing run out radial and axially look for any mechanical damage to it so compressor wheel exhaust wheel all look good so pass the visual inspection so we're on to the second thing that we do i have uh plugged the oil feed hole it's hard to see because they're deep threaded on these and i've put our airline fitting on the oil drain what's this going to do well we're going to hook it up to our flow meter it's just a standard argon CO2 flow meter for your welder. Got it running through a pressure regulator sitting at about 30 PSI. So step one, gonna be to connect this hose to the drain. Give me just a second. We're gonna look at our flow number. Which in this case, we've got just about 40 cubic feet an hour. So. Definitely hear a little change in the air as you wiggle the shaft radially and axially. So we'll see what that does to the meter. So radially, we get a little spike. Axially, we get a little, little spike down and a spike up. So what I'm going to do is I found that you know measuring the, the axial play is the most critical. So I'm going to pull the, I'll load the thrust towards the compressor side. That's uh, that's how the compressor wheel is pulling on the the bearing structure. So we got just a little touch over 50 cubic feet an hour. I'm gonna push it the other way. This will be the thrust that the turbine provides. And we've got about 20 cubic feet per hour. All right, so what's this mean? Well, there's no published data on this. So what this means is that's just a number that I've been able to, to generate. We're gonna compare it to a brand new one and see how they stack up. So give me just a second, I'm going to swap over the fittings, and I'll be right back with you. All right, back at you. So I got the uh, fittings swapped over to our new EFR. So first thing we're going to notice is uh, static reading, when I first hooked it up, is a little bit lower. But I found that this doesn't necessarily give you a good indicator of the overall condition of the turbo. So we're going to push and we're going to pull on the thrust load. A little picky because this one's full of assembly lube, so it's a little thicker oil in it than normal. There we go. We're about just a little bit over 45 cubic feet an hour at max. And just under 15 cubic feet an hour minimum. All right, so what does this mean? Does this mean that this turbo over here is bad? Well, since there's no published data on this, I have to go by averages. So what I've done is I've kept track of a bunch of EFR turbos that have come through the shop for service. And I've done a bunch of, obviously, uh, you know, readings on brand new ones. I find that this number is a touch bit high. Is it highest one I've ever seen? No. Is it the lowest one I've ever seen that's used? Definitely not. Is this turbo brand new, the best seal I've ever seen? No, it's not. Um, is it the worst? Not by far. I've tested brand new ones that leaked more than this one. And I have uh, tested ones with 100,000 miles on them that sealed better than this one. So uh, Vice versa, I've had some that have miles on them that leak way worse than that and don't smoke a drop on the car. So I'm going to give this one a good pass for the customer and I'm going to tell him to really look hard at his crankcase ventilation system because he did have a little oil in it. Um, he did send all of his fittings. He's running a number 12 drain. You know, it's a full flow. Definitely meets the requirements for it. Um, as far as the fitting size goes, I'm going to go over with him everything on the car. So anyway, the... Uh, the point of this test is that we, we run these numbers on various turbos through our shop when we rebuild them, when we sell them new, so we can keep a log of what kind of data we see. 
is it the most solid conclusive data that your turbo is good or bad no it's not but is it just another tool in our toolbox to help build a high quality product yes it is hope you guys enjoyed watching be sure to uh, subscribe and like all that good stuff that makes the youtube world go round now we just got to find a home for this efr Maybe the 2J going in the S30? Maybe. <laughs> Hope y'all guys have a good day. We'll talk to you soon.